What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are talking about another free agent signing from the Detroit Lions this offseason. Last video, we talked about Jaron Ron Curse or Jaron Curse, however you say it. And today, we're talking about Nick Williams. Let's get it started. So yes, the support of the last one was awesome. So we're bringing it back. We're coming back with another free agent. And again, comment below what player you want me to talk about next. This one probably won't be as long as other ones because uh, there's just not as much there for me to talk about. I'm just going to be honest. Um, but I was thinking about doing Desmond Trufant next. You guys can let me know in the comments below. But basically what we're going to be doing here is talking about the contract, talking about the player, talking about what his role could be with the Lions. And uh, Nicholas Williams is on a schedule for today. Now, this is a defensive lineman coming from the Chicago Bears. He is 30 years old and he signed a two-year $10 million deal with the Detroit Lions after coming off basically a prove-it deal with the Chicago Bears where... He definitely proved it. Now, this is a player going back to high school, only played one season of football, and he went to Samford for college, not Stanford, Samford. So he was kind of an unheard of uh, prospect that a lot of people believed was a pretty polished pass rusher that, you know, could add a few more moves, but they felt like he had a nice spin, uh, spin move, a swim move. He had kind of everything that he needed to be possibly like a late gem. Now, obviously, Samford doesn't have the best competition. So, you know, it was easy to kind of forget who, who Nick Williams was. This season, we brought on Jay Sean Cornell out of Ohio State. But this guy's out of Sanford so you don't really know those players as much but a lot of people had high hopes that this could be one of those guys that could be a rotational player and possibly down the road be a gem for some team and it looked like last season the Bears found that gem within Nicholas Williams and hopefully we can pull it out of Nicholas Williams as well so like I said 30 year old that can play both interior defensive lineman and defensive end what's great about him is that he is a scheme versatile type of player six foot four just under 300 pounds he can play both defensive end defensive tackle he can fit in a three four or four three but as we know no, Lions don't play just a simple defense. They play a multiple D. So what's great about Nick Williams is that little versatility, which is something that the Lions always go after in their players, will allow him to play at different spots as a rotational player. This will not be a starter. I don't see this guy starting with, you know, two or three defensive linemen on at a time because now we have Danny Shelton. I think Trey Flowers starts. Okora is going to start at that jack roll. And then maybe Deshaun Hand or someone like that. But Nick Williams is going to give us a nice rotational player. And we're talking about veterans that we could possibly bring in. But let's just not forget, I, I think this is the perfect time to do this because we're saying, oh, maybe we should bring in Mike Daniels. You know, maybe we should bring in Mike Daniels. You know, maybe we should bring in, I don't know, Jabal Shear. Maybe we should bring in Everson Griffin. But don't forget about my, my guy, Nick Williams. The Lions could be sitting back and saying, hey, y'all, we already signed that guy. He's on the roster. Y'all are just forgetting because it was so long ago that this guy had six sacks last season for the Chicago Bears and 42 total tackles. Now, what's the main concern about Nicholas Williams? Not anything about his character, nothing like that. It's the simple fact that he hasn't done anything up until this point. Up until last season, he was kind of unheard of when it comes to the NFL. He was drafted by the Steelers in the seventh round, didn't play a single snap for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He then was with the Kansas City Chiefs. Then he went to the Dolphins. Again, unheard of. He was out of the out of the league for one season. He was injured a full season another year. And then he went to the Chicago Bears. And they were like, all right, man, we, we got to see what you can do. The coaches had confidence in him. Uh, just great coaching. Uh, put me in uh, good, good, good situations to make plays. Uh, he believes in me. Uh, we got a team out. You know, we're missing, we're missing a big, big part of our defensive line. So I'm just trying to step up and uh, do as much as I can. They said that you know he's going to get an opportunity, and he said he didn't just want to be a rotational guy. He wanted to have an impact on his field, and he did. He for sure did. And I sure you know a lot of pressure was taken off him by some other talent, and he was kind of forgotten of. He makes me think of a Marvin Hall, Marvin Hall of a defensive line, because Marvin Hall was always that forgotten guy last season, and that's why he just had so many big catches. Nicholas Williams, I feel like for the Bears, was that forgotten rusher because it was like, oh, there's Khalil Mack. You know, there's all these good defensive linemen. Now they have Robert Quinn. And who in the world is Nicholas Williams, who's never, like, done anything in the NFL? But then last season, he came out of nowhere and said, boom, I got y'all. I got six sacks. So this is a guy that the Lions are bringing in that could be a rotational piece, which I think is a good idea. Now, those years in between last season, 2019, and his rookie season... The PFF didn't like him. He was graded really, really bad. We're not going to get into it. But last season, he graded out as a 67.2 overall, uh, 67.8 against the run, and a 62.6 in pass rush. Again, the numbers are solid. He can help us in the run. He is 30 years old, so he has some veteran experience. And he wants to continue to build on what he had with the Bears. He doesn't want to just stop here, and that's what I want to see. I'm not expecting to get six sacks out of him, but let's just say, for example, we did. That's really, really good when you take into consideration how little, pre how little pressure we got last season. So... Again, he's interesting because he is on that two-year deal now, and I don't think he's done. I think he's ready to keep working, and he's at that point where he's 30 years old. He knows what to expect. He's in the same division, so he's going to go against a lot of the same interior offensive linemen. 
this is an opportunity for him to continue to build on last season and uh, make something great out of this career that started off kind of poorly, but he bounced back in a big way in 2019. I'm excited to see what the potential is here. You know, I'm not going to get super hyped about this one because there just hasn't been a lot there for me to look at. But I will say what we saw last season, you know, it gives you some hope that this can be a really good signing. And potentially, maybe this is the reason we don't go after a guy like Everson Griffin. I'm not saying we shouldn't. I'm just saying Lions could be saying, hey, we already got our guy here in our veteran in Nicholas Williams. So there's Nicholas Williams. Who do you guys want me to talk about next? Let me know in the comments below. I think he'll be a rotational piece, and I'm glad he is a Detroit Lion. Thank you, Brad, for watching, and I'm out.